In this video, I continue the aggressive golf I played on the first nine. I want to go under par for the second nine. I'm going to boom driver every hole except par threes. No fancy knockdown shots. If there's a choice between two clubs, I'm hitting it harder rather than softer. Full commitment, full power. Welcome to the bone zone. On the first hole here at Clarence Golf Course, I just want to avoid the water on the left, so I just hit it right. I know there's space right of the fairway from my experience playing the course two days earlier. A long iron would get me within wedge distance, but in the name of science, I hit the driver. The green slopes from right to left, and if you pop it on the right side of the green, it will funnel toward the hole. If you have a longer approach in here, you could easily roll it up the right side of the green to finish really close to the pin on the left. This takes the water right out of play. I'm hitting a wedge, so I want to go just right of the pin and carry it to the flag because these bent grass greens are super receptive and the ball will bite quickly. To shoot under par players, or to get into the low 70s, you have to make putts. A lot of macho, macho men, YMCA, will tell you a course is easy just because it's short. But if you don't make putts or three putt often, those short holes just get one stroke longer. The only shot I could hit today with this driver was a fade, so I went for a big banana slice trying to avoid the block shot Oscar Bravo on the right. I figured if it went straight, I'd be in the left rough. I wanted to leave a shorter approach shot from the right side. Approaching from the left is harder because of the bunker in front of the green and the greens slope away from us. This is not far right enough, so I thought I'd bump the ball to finish green side where I'd try to get up and down Unfortunately players, if you want to score under par or slash or handicap, you need to concentrate and commit. This was poofies because I took the wrong club to chip with. I should have gone back to the bag and got another club, but this sort of mental error should have been avoided. I like these kind of holes. Two fairway next to each other from different holes. I knew I could probably reach the green with a nice high draw, but if I overdo it, which I did, I have another fairway to the left. What a wheeler dealer! I was pin high to the left, but in a bit of a dry sandy lie, so I played an exaggerated bunker splash, contacting the ground a little behind the ball, but picking it much cleaner than a greenside bunker shot. The general trend on this channel is that I make a birdie and quickly follow it up with a bogey. On this drive, I wanted to hit the green in one, right over that tree, with a controlled, smooth swing. Well, that's the type of swing that keeps my physiotherapist in business. We finally hit red numbers, and I remember the 6-iron was a bit too long here a couple days ago. There was no real wind that day, but today the wind was into my face, so I hit the 6-iron again. I reckon on this par 3, being on the left is much easier with an easy chip and more space to stop on the green, but I was going balls to the wall to finish under par, so I went pin hunting. The sixth is a very short par five, and you can cut out most of the distance out of it by taking on the corner on the left. 
With a big enough hit, you could be within 50 yards of the green in one shot. There's no real danger on the left at all. I would play this as a par 4, but today was under par day, so I played as stated on the card, par 5. I love my 58 degree wedge from the bunkers, but had to settle for this junky 60 degree Cleveland CG16 I bought for 20 bucks in Joburg. When you find a wedge you like from the bunkers players, you have to keep that club. The loss of fear in bunkers means you go into them less often, and when you do go into them, you savor the flavor as opposed to crapping your pants taking four to get out of the sand. Downwind, downhill, at high altitude, onto firm ground, I finally hit a drive in the pure panty, and once I hit it, it stayed hit. That's how quick it is, 125. Boom. I knew we could get home in two, but I didn't realize we'd be getting home in two with a wedge. <laughs> the greenkeeper, from the greenkeeper's lie. He's hit a great one there. But all the shots, all day long. Oh, right where my ball is, what a shot. All the shots, all day long. I was trying to clear the trees on the left with an almighty wallop, but ended up overswinging just a little bit and cut a massive banana slice. I stopped short of the water and it left me a nice short approach shot into the green. There's a bank behind the pin here, so I wanted to be aggressive enough to make it to the pin and perhaps over the pin so it might spin back down the slope to give myself a chance of it going in the hole for eagle. This was quite hard work because I was not swinging well as you could tell by some back breaker moves. If your driver game is solid, use it. Use it as much as you can. Whatever your strength is, double down on it and keep using your best abilities to capitalize on your strengths. Once we've all cleared up our short games and we've become up and down maestros, we need to move on to the longer game. There is no single dimension in golf. A confident short game slashes strokes quicker than anything and with less effort. But then, we need to move further from the green. A decent tee ball to get you in play is so important. I always advocate for the comfortable shot from the tee, and if that's your hybrid, that's great. If it's your 5-iron, that's super. This is the quickest way to begin having fun, and it can forever be fun, honestly. 
but this is dependent on your goal. You need to start expanding the arsenal from the tee. Like I say, this is hugely dependent on your reasons for playing golf. If you don't care about getting your handicap down, that's cool, I dig it, but there needs to be a fork in the road. If your goal is to be a handicap dropping bouse, you need to start getting better off the tee. This shizzle works, and it's all within you. Just get out of your own way, bonehead.